Do you know that it is actually possible to know something and not understand it? You can know something and not understand it. I've seen this time and time again. Like one of the biggest problems that traders have is that they know what trading is because they've been doing it for a couple of months or a couple of years, but they don't understand it. I'm sure you've heard stories where someone will, will be telling you that they've been trading for over a decade or maybe five years or six years, but they are not yet breaking through the ceiling. The results are not representative or a representation of the experience that they have in, in the financial markets, right? And that all has to do with what? That all has to do with the fact that they know what trading is but they do not understand it because knowing is not enough. So you need to understand trading. And I can even further say that not understanding trading is costing you more than actually knowing what trading is. I can easily recall or remember back in 2018, I started, I started trading in 2016. Uh, back in 2018, a couple of years in, and at that point, I was so conv I had so much conviction that I knew what trading was. You couldn't tell me about anything about trading. Anyone who would tell me about fundamentals, I would immediately reject that idea. I don't need fundamentals. I know what trading is. I've been doing this for over a year, so I'm good. I'm fine. But I did not understand trading. And the reason why I say I did not understand trading, because how, how do you actually know that you understand trading? Well, your results will be the telltale factor or telltale sign that you understand trading. If you are not getting the results that you want from trading, then you just know about you. You, you essentially just know what trading is, but you do not understand it. When you understand trading, then your results will be a representation of the level of understanding that you have about your trading, right? So looking at this trade that we have right in front of you here, which is silver, um, you are aware of this position. I've been in this trade, but I just want to touch on a concept that I introduced in the last video that I posted, which is market sentiment and also diving a bit deeper into it because you can clearly see that I'm in a buy position. This is a weekly time frame, by the way. So I'm in a buy position on, I have buy positions on silver. And then I also opened a sell position right up here, right? So this is what I want to talk about. Also tying into the understanding of trading that it's not only about knowing it's the understanding because I've also had questions that how do you hedge? How do you actually hedge against the overall trend or the overall macro picture? And it comes back to what I touched on in, in the last video, which is sentiment market sentiment understanding market sentiment so now if we just focus on in this sole position we're not going to look at the buy positions because i've explained why i'm in this buy positions uh now i'm just going to touch on why i actually opened the sell position right here so let us actually go on to the daily time frame because uh, the daily time frame will actually uh give us more of a, a a better picture of where i entered and why I actually chose or decided to actually enter at that level, right? So uh, what you can clearly see, this was on Friday. This was on Friday, the 4th of October. This is where I actually ex executed the sell position, right? So there, there needs to be a reason. If there, if there was a fundamental reason why I bought silver, there needs to be a fundamental reason why I'm looking to sell silver. silver. And in this case, it was based on market sentiment, like I just said, right? So I waited for that catalyst that was actually going to enable me to have conviction in this what in, in, in executing a sell position on silver. And another way that I that this also uh, exemplifies understanding of trading is the fact that I was strategic on this position. What do I mean that I was strategic on this position? Because you can clearly see I've had this position opened all along and now price is back to it. But then a sell position on silver actually earns you some sort of a swap or a positive swap or a positive interest because essentially what you're doing, you're buying the dollar which offers an interest or you're buying the US dollar which offers an interest 
and you're selling silver, which pays zero interest. So essentially what I was doing, I'm getting paid for just holding this sell position. Now, let's go quickly to the reason why or the fundamental reason why I actually entered this uh, sell position. So it all has to do with the non-farm payrolls data that we had on the 4th of August, right? So US economy added 254,000 jobs in September, logging sub surprisingly robust growth, right? And then we also saw uh, the unemployment rate, actually the unemployment rate dropped to 4.1% from 4.2%. So this was actually blockbuster employment figure or employment data from the United States. So that was definitely going to be positive for the dollar. That was definitely going to create a positive mood. What do I mean by positive mood? A positive market sentiment centered around what? Around the US dollar. So this was the trigger or this was the reason for me to actually look to hedge my buy positions on silver, right? So what? why am I actually showing you this? Because I'm trying to explain to you that you can know about trading but if you do not understand trading, then you will struggle. If you do not, if you are not seeing the results that you want to see from trading, it is most probably because you not understand. You you don't understand trading. You may know ab about trading. You may know what trading is, but you do not understand trading. Because if you understand trading, then your results will actually show that you understand trading. Now, here's where this this becomes a an an issue or a problem in terms of. The difference between knowing and understanding trading because if you if you are so focused on the fact that you know what trading is then you become dismissive of any knowledge or information that can actually help you understand what trading is because that is why that is why most people actually do it or most not even most people that is why most traders if you show them something that works more efficiently or 100 times better than what they're currently doing. But if they've been doing that specific or they've been using that specific method for quite some, 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 some an extended period of time, then they generally f create some resistance or they show some resistance in terms of listening to what you have to say. Because for them, they have so much conviction that I know what trading is right that is essentially the purpose of me doing this video today is to stress that if you're not getting the results that you want or that you would like to get from trading it is pretty simple you do not understand what you are doing you know what trading is but you do not understand what trading is because if you understood what trading is then you would be able to take advantage of most opportunities irregardless of whether it's in line with the bigger picture or against the bigger picture because going back to, to the sentiment part that i highlighted this was actually what a shift in sentiment has it shifted the primary reasons why i actually i've been buying silver the whole of 2024 no it hasn't we still have the the middle east geopolitical tensions they escalating we still have that ongoing we're still expecting what the the, the fed to continue to ease monetary policy or to continue to lower interest rates but what this blockbuster uh, non-farm payrolls data actually created it created an environment where the dollar was going to strengthen in the near term, right? And that created what? A bearish sentiment for silver, obviously, because it's a bullish sentiment for the dollar. But it did not change the macro picture or the macro reasons or the, the bigger picture reasons of why I actually took this trade. But I was only able to take advantage of this short trade and then also be in the knowledge or, or also be aware of the fact that I'm be, I'll be getting paid a positive swap for just holding this position because I understood what I'm doing. I understand what trading is, right? So that is essentially the, the, the mindset that I wanted to share with you guys that if you are struggling with your trading, it's not because you do not know what trading is, but it is essentially or simply because you do not understand what trading actually is. And then, like I said, the barrier or the, or, or, or the, or the obstacle that it creates is that you become so resistant in adopting new methodologies that can actually help you understand trading and actually get you the results that you want. So what you end up doing, especially if, if you've been trading for a very long time without seeing results, what you end up doing is that you end up believing that everything needs to take to take long, especially or it needs to take a long time, especially when it comes to trading that no trading. This is the nature of trading. Trading takes a long time. But here's what I'm going to I'm going to leave you with as I'm ending up this and as I'm wrapping up this video. 
many people feel like it takes forever to do things now if you in this camp where you are operating based on what you know not because not based on what you understand about trading it's going to create this belief in you where you are now believing that things take a long time for you so when you when you are in that mindset where you believe that things take a long time for you especially trading takes a long time for you you will then move slowly but if you do everything in your trading believing that things will happen fast then you move fast what am i talking about seizing opportunity you will be very fast to take advantage of opportunities that could change your trading but if you believe that this is how trading is trading should take a very long time because you're ignorant to the fact that you just know what, you just know what trading is but you do not understand trading then in that regard you are going to move slow you're going to pass up opportunities that can actually elevate your trading to the next level so you are going to pass up those opportunities it is very important that you understand that your biggest hindrance if you're not seeing progress or the results that you want from trading it could only be because you do not understand what you are doing you know what you are doing but you do not understand what you are doing and why you are even doing it right but i just wanted to share this video with you guys and if you found value from it as always do like the video uh, and also share it with people who might benefit from it uh, if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe and then i'll catch you guys on the next video